feel uh, extremely rel relieved first. I think that's the first feeling I feel because um, we put our blood, sweat and tears into the film, two years of a lot of hard work um, and an association with the director that I've looked up to all my life. So I really, really wanted it to go well. Uh, and not only did it go well, it went really well. Uh, and it's a super, it's a very special experience when, when your audience starts calling you by your character name. And I think that's the first time it's happened now. It's like, I'm Alia, but I'm also Gangubai. I don't like to kind of, I, I do feel that, okay, this is something that I have not done before. But I don't feel, okay, it's going to be special or is it going to be loved? Or, so you always have to be prepared. It's, uh, it's it, it, whatever it, whatever it is, it's, it's all a gamble. The film industry, when you're making a movie, it's like, okay, you may be completely sure, but then you never know. Mm -hmm. So I'm always prepared for the worst, but I hope for the best. But I definitely knew that the experience I had was possibly the most special experience I've ever had mm -hmm. in my life as a person being alive, forget being as an actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I had a feeling that that had to add up to something. Uh, and I was just kind of waiting and watching and now that it did, it makes sense, like the math makes sense. Box office is a number um, that, that tells you how, how many people have watched your film. So that is, of course, mm. uh, a, a, a big barometer. But how many lives you've touched and how many people who, that you've managed to move, make them laugh, cry, uh, frown. Um, if they remember your dialogues. I mean, all those things are success as an actor. Yeah. But I mean, what's my definition of success in life uh, is being completely at peace with the situation that you're in. Not being um, a sort of um, uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, not held ransom to your success is, is, is success. Mm. Uh, yeah, to yeah. be able to enjoy it with the distance. Well, a magician never reveals their secrets. <laughs> but truly, this magician has no secrets. Uh, I have no idea what I do and how I do it. All I know is I go to work every day with a heart full of um, love and anticipation to do my best and sometimes the day is great sometimes it's not so great mm -hmm. but sometimes um, you have but most of the time you just have to go there go out there and do it because it's it's what you love so I think when I act I just I have immense love for what I'm doing so yeah. That's what, I, otherwise there's no method. Well, it's my year in terms of the number, okay? So 2022 is number six, I'm a number six. So I'm not saying it's the year of Alia, but I'm definitely saying it's the year of number six. So all number sixes out there can feel very happy. Um, I am very excited for both these films now. Um, I mean, it has started off so well. Uh, with RRR and Gangubai. Um, now, uh, Darlings is coming, is a totally different film coming on, you know, on an OTT platform. We will announce more on that soon. And it's my first film as a producer. Very, very different film. A new genre for me, a new character. So I'm super excited. And I think people will be quite intrigued and surprised once they see the trailer. It's, it's, it's a bit, it's, it's, a, it's, it's new. Okay, mm -hmm. and similarly with Brahmastra, a completely different spectacle. I don't think India has seen a film like that. Um, and we, as a team, have worked on it for like four years. Ayan has been with the story for 10 years. Production started seven years ago. So yeah, a lot of work and effort has gone into the film. And the journey of revealing it to the world has already started. We've dropped a motion poster. We dropped a bit of a visual, special visual on my birthday. Um, so yeah, really looking forward. That comes out on the 9th of September. Um, yeah, and I mean, and not to say too much, but I think um, I'm pretty sure the year's going to end with a bang. <laughs> Again, cinema in general has no boundaries. If you see the world over, it's loved and appreciated and 
um you know i remember when we were in berlin we were having talking about stories of how there was a kilometer line when shahrukh khan was there for the premiere of um i think my name is khan or something like that so yeah genuinely i think as an artist i don't want to be limited to any language so whether that's a hindi film telugu film um english film spanish korean whatever it is i mean of course i can't speak korean but i would like for myself to partake in content that doesn't limit me just because of the language i speak or because of the country that i come from in fact i'd love to be able to be like okay i'm from india but i'm working in this film i'm from india but i'm working in that show you know it doesn't it shouldn't um um exactly it shouldn't limit me mm-hmm. so yeah starting with heart of stone which i'm super excited about because uh, it's it's a it's a it's a spy thriller action movie um but i'm working with this female superstar uh, i think gal is ap- like the epitome of um you know um woman like kind of forefronting a big budget movie and that's i'm all for that because um that's really that means progress that you're really taking cinema forward and the audiences um you know um palette forward yeah. so i'm super excited about that i think it's going to it's but it's just the beginning i'm hoping that there's going to be a lot of variety that comes um that i can sort of portray and hopefully do justice to